Former Meghalaya Chief Minister and Senior TMC Leader Mukul Sangma has stepped up his attack on Chief Minister Congrat Sangma over the latter's alleged association with a drug campaign. Well, speaking exclusively to Northeast Live correspondent Purvasha Bhattacharji in Shillong today, Mukul Sangma said that it was important for the Chief Minister of State to be careful about whom he was closely associating with. Sangma said that for someone who holds a Chief Minister's post, maintaining strict scrutiny was of paramount importance. Reacting to Congress Sangma's defense that as a Chief Minister and a public figure, he meets a number of people and that it was wrong to draw any inference uh, from a mere photograph. Well, uh, Mukul Sangma said that the photograph in question was clicked by the organizers of a high-profile event in Delhi, where the alleged drug campaign was seen sitting with Meghalaya Chief Minister and his wife. After your advice to the Chief Minister, Chief Minister has said that just based on a photograph, he clicks, uh, being a public figure, he clicks millions of photographs with individuals. So just based on a photograph to drawing a conclusion is illogical. So what do you think about public figure? Uh, is, he, is he trying to shy away from this responsibility? What do you think? See, he is a public figure. There are so many people who are public figure. I have been chief minister for eight years, and I continue to be in the circulation. It is reality that whenever you are anywhere, people would like to have you know, the privilege of taking photographs together. Many a time, even just recently when I was traveling, in the airport somebody said, sir, can I have a selfie with you? Or oh, can I have a photograph with you? It's a natural thing. It's a normal thing. Who is denying this fact? It's natural. But the fact is that you will end up allowing yourself to be posed and captured in the photograph with uh, people whom you may not know, but then they know you, isn't it? But here in the instant case, it is different. It is different. Because which photograph I was referring to, I have uh, submitted it before the August House. It is in the domain of the Legislative Assembly of our state. It is now, therefore, in a public domain. Now, this is, this is a photograph which is officially taken by the organizers who were organizing a program where Chief Minister was supposed to be one of the guests. OK? Now, you look at the photograph. The photograph is in the front row of an event which is a national level event. It is a high profile event. And the seated arrangement was there a table. We call it cover, and it is designated for the chief minister and whoever accompanies him. Nobody can just go and sit there. So that is the photo I have referred to yesterday, not something which was taken somewhere, which happens with everybody. I'm not a politically novice guy that I will not even know that. I'm also subjected to the same kind of situation. I don't know how many photographs I have taken with how many people. So it's the same thing with everybody. But here in the instant case is not same which he compares to just to shrug off and just to make a different kind of narrative it's up to him to use his power of comprehension and the resultant judgment the resultant judgment based on his wisdom the wisdom to understand the gravity of what i have said it's a perception that means it is a perception that if somebody who has been alleged by Delhi police, is it not necessary for him to take cognizance of that? That's what I have said. It is not an allegation or have I said that he has an excess? I have not said. I have not said that he has an excess. I have only said that in view of this, I would suggest the Honorable CM to dissociate himself from these kind of people. Well, the senior TMC leader added that it was his job as a member of the House to caution the Chief Minister about his alleged association with people and now it was up to him to take uh, or disregard it. But after this, what are you going to do next? Because uh, now it seems that uh, the matter is even expanded in the ex Assembly also. So what are you planning to do next? How to take forward? See, the expanding or whatever in the House is a procedural thing. But has he not been cautioned? Has he not been cautioned? Who has cautioned him? One of the members of this August House? With all the background of his 
experiences of the past, of, uh, past governance. So you see, that's why I'm saying it's up to him to use his wisdom, okay, and accordingly steer his way of associating with people. Now, if he want to say that, okay, everything is fine, I will still tell him that be cautious, be cautious, put people on scanner with whom you are becoming closely associated. I'm talking about closely associated people, which is reflected by the inputs that I have. Sangma also elaborated on the growing drug menace in Meghalaya, even as he laid emphasis on why it was important for people in power to be watchful at every step. You see, you have to go through the whole content of the proceedings of yesterday's house, you know, during that business uh, hour. Now, what is the circumstance under which this particular issue was flagged before the government? There was a motion, and the motion was on a very important item. The item which was pertaining to discussion on the manners of drugs and substance abuse in the state of Meghalaya. Now, you heard the submissions of a number of the members, including the mover of the motion. And equally, now today, the concern of the citizens of the state, the concern of the parents of the affected victims of substance abuse, you can understand the gravity of the situation. And therefore, when we are talking about the responsibility of dealing with these manners, it has a number of components. The most important component is always prevention. Okay. How do you prevent? By disrupting the supply chain. The next is, in spite of all these efforts, if some of the victims find a way to have access to these substances of abuse, then you deal with them. How do you deal with them? Through various methods of counseling, de-addiction, rehabilitation, etc., etc. Now, here, in view of the number of cases which have shown increasing trend and without any interruption, we need to understand that the prevention part is out of question. We are already in a mess. That means the supply chain is taking place uninterrupted. Therefore, who are those who are probably facilitating the supply chain? We have to find out. And while doing so, we also have to be, that's why, put our scanner. There are different methodologies. There are different SOPs to deal with this kind of challenges. But again, at the same time, we have to be uh, able to comprehend the complexities associated with dealing this, pro, um, you know, menace of this whole supply chain, the paddling, and how they manage to navigate this whole system of paddling. Most of the way the supply chain is adopted, keeping in mind our experiences and our inputs that we had during when we had the privilege of running the government, we had those inputs. How the modus operandi are usually resorted to by these people. So therefore, I have suggested that everybody should be cautious. And while saying so, I have been again disturbed because of the fact that somebody told me about one particular person who was, who was alleged to have been involved in this illegal activity of peddling and distributing drugs, these substances of abuse to different northeastern states. I was referring to, I was referring to one of the news items carried by one of the national media, national print media, the business standard. If I'm correct, I think that is a news item carried on the 23rd of April 2013. Now, what does the news item say? I shared that news item in the August House, and it has become the property of the House because I have shared. This is the material which I have shared, based on which I have cautioned the Chief Minister, saying that I have been informed that this particular person who have been alleged by Delhi Police, that he is one of the kingpins of the alleged activity. You know, it's allegation and the subsequent 
uh, arrest by Delhi police. That is the story. Now, if somebody has been arrested by Delhi police because of the alleged activity which revolves around uh, peddling and uh, creating supply chain of these uh, substances of abuse, and you know the person, if you know the person, what will you tell, what will you advise your children? I would advise the CM to dissociate himself from this type of people who have been alleged to have been involved by the Delhi police. That's it. Now it's up to the Chief Minister to take cognizance of my advice, my suggestion. Hmm? It's important because he's the Chief Minister of the state. <laughs>